Hi guys, James here from Sunseekers Southampton. I'm down at Swanwick Marina. Today we're going to have a look around the Predator 74. They saw my running video earlier this week as we brought it around from a local marina. So behind me here is boat 347. So 2020 Black Hole. Beautiful Predator 74. She's powered by the larger twin MAN 1900 horsepower V12 engines. Standard fit in this boat is a pair of 1550 V8 engines. So really steps up the game, uh, getting up for speeds approaching sort of 38 knots, even with a stabiliser system like she has fitted. And you can see here, special order with a black gel coat hole from the factory. It's a real striking looking boat. Really blends in nicely. The windows are lost into the, the hull band itself. So it's a real aggressive look. Complemented nicely with those black eyebrows up on the, uh, the windscreen arch mullions there. And of course those massive expansive glass windows up into the deck saloon area that we'll get to see when we get on board in a minute. So it's a very pretty looking boat, weighing in around 45 tonnes. And say so she's available now for immediate delivery. A very high spec boat built for stock for us here in the UK. Uh, before we head on board, I just point out that the aft stern section here, the starboard side, there's a tender garage that will take up to a 395 Williams jet tender. There's also a crew space for two. Heading on board, you can see immediately we've got full teak deck pack running all the way down the side decks up into the cockpit, etc. We've got this nice drop down seat here, somewhere to sit and watch kids playing in the water. We've got the option with the electric griddle here on the bathing platform, and then away from the, the owners and onboard guests. This is the crew access. Have a look in here. We've got uh, a Mila washer dryer down there, uh, two single beds, there may be a captain and deck hand or captain hostess, so good size heads. Still very much an owner operator size here, around 75 feet, but with the option if you wish to take a captain with you for ad hoc trips. A platinum Mediterranean package, so we've got a big letterbox passerelle stored away here, a power for shore system in here, deck wash plug in. For, uh, for washing down tenders and what have you. And as we come up, you'll see we've got deck winches, uh, both side port and starboard, little boxes for tailing off ropes, nice little touch. And immediately see the expanse, this huge sun pad over the top of the garage and crew space. And up built into the trailing edge of the roof here, this is a, a carbon fiber pull out uh, sunshade, which gives uh, protection on the sun when you don't want it in the cockpit area. And then we've got this big U-shaped seating area. The cushion here is removable. And then the table itself opens up to give you a much larger space for dining. You can see there it's on electric high-low mechanism. And there's plenty of space here to put a couple of director's chairs to sort of sit, uh, I'd say a good eight, eight to ten people in real comfort, but possibly even twelve at a squeeze, if you so wish. And then you see behind me, I've got it uh, opened up at the moment, but we've got a drop down window you'll see in some of my other videos. This is an electric panel that comes up, and then there's a patio door arrangement that comes across to give you a real open or closed boat feel. So you can put your aircon on inside, turn the boat into a you know a cool box if uh, if it's a real hot day. We'll have it completely open plan as it is now and it's great space in the evening for entertaining guests everything's on one level you can see we've got a flush threshold here on the door uh, with a deck drain built in there so uh, no water inside in an emergency over on the port side here we've got a wet bar arrangement so electric griddle we've got a top loading cool box sink and then underneath we've got the uh, a storage cupboard and an ice maker in here as well We've got a second station control here with the Ventix joystick. So this is taking thruster and throttle controls. We've got engine start stops. I say in full functionality, we'll go through a bit more of that when we get up to the helm. And then let's head up on the deck. Just appreciate these massive expansive glass windows. We've got a mirror tint um, smoke on here to, uh, to keep the sun out. Of course, the teak decking running throughout the, the decks here. And we come up to the foredeck. So in the med style mooring, where you're reversed in stern two. Uh, this is a very private area to come away from the crowds on the quay. 
you've got this backrest folds forward and hidden under here is a pram style sort of clamshell bimini top so you've got somewhere to come and sit with some protection up forward again fixed pedestal table there we've got two cool box drawers here one either side for bottles of water and what have you and then forward of that demonstrated here with the lift up backrest in place but this is a full sun pad room for for several adults on the on the bow here it's all finished in like a stone gray umbrella fabric coming close you can see the sort of texture to the fabric very hard wearing and there's exterior covers to go over all of this when you're not on board the boat and then heading up forward so we've got a, a large single anchor set up good sized lockers for storing fenders So it's a great space, real social area. You can use this quite happily if the boat's running sort of 10, 12 knots, captain running the boat. You can sit up here in perfect peace. Boat runs very flat with those big shaft drive engines, put the trim tabs down. Or equally, at anchor, say it's a nice uh, social area, climb up on the rails, jumping, kids jumping in the water and that sort of thing. You see these big twin arm pantograph wipers, three of them across the screen, so you've got a great visibility from inside that we'll see shortly and then a mirror finish on the roof this is all an opening centre section here and then up top we've got a 64 nautical mile four foot Simrad uh, radar there we've got a spotlight twin twin beam spotlight of course twin VHF aerials and we painted the radar chair just for a little bit more uh, detail on this particular boat we head on back we go inside and see what the uh, the decor is like So interior finish, we've got uh, Venge wood on the cabinetry here, which is a dark wood, open grain, satin finish. Highlights nicely with the silver oak Cadorian hardwood floor in the saloon. And then we've got this inlaid nice carpet. Um, upgraded fabrics on sofas here. Lots of different funky color scatter cushions. It's a very chic, modern finish in here. So you just stand back so you can sort of take that in. Nice detail with the, the table lamp here. And a stone top here with a nice textured black quartz. Um, hidden on the port side, we've got storage cupboards. This is like a graphite um, high, high sheen. It's still a satin, but um, it's a painted finish. AV system here, so we've got a hidden in the in the top here is a 55 inch high low TV. Uh, it's got Apple TV. We've got a Sonos connect uh, system so we've got speakers up in the ceiling here and we've got a Sonos soundbar as well uh, onboard 4G router so we've got connectivity while we're away at sea with a couple of data cards same idea with the table here so it obviously folds open or closed to give you more of a coffee table feel in the evenings and again on this beautiful up and down stainless steel central pedestal leg so you can get that into a nice drop down position in the evenings so it's very social everything's on one level minimal steps here up to the lower helm uh, where we've got this big expansive l-shaped seating area so a nice social for somebody sitting up with the captain and the option with two seats so beautiful bezons only italian black leather seats here say with a helm and co-pilot little foot rest they're adjustable up and down so you can get into a real comfy position when you sit up at the helm which we'll do now so you can just get a feel for what you see as a captain and say and you check out my running video from earlier in the week you'll see kind of how the uh, the boat actually is really straightforward to drive as soon as you've got the confidence of the space around you of course with Sunseeker typical nice little detailing of things like the center weighted badges uh, we've got things like throttles and thruster controls here on the starboard side so one finger in and out of gear ZF control gearboxes uh, this is the Aventix joystick we mentioned earlier with the second station so twisting the top engages the thrusters forward and, and astern we've got pushing the engines backwards will engage them pushing it sideways engaging thrusters so it's a real complete unit if you're not used to manipulating your throttle and uh, thruster controls here it's a real nice way of sort of giving confidence to, a, to an owner operator over here so our proportional Sleipner bound stern thrusters of course typical station hold function here common on all our yachts so that allows you to lock both thrusters against a pontoon very handy if you're short handed going out to do your ropes and lines without needing to have somebody at the helm all the time. 
And then just scanning across, we've got a nice array of switches here controlling uh, wiper delays, um, horn, say anchor controls, autopilot, DSC VHF, Sunseeker's proprietary CM8 monitoring panel. So this gives us things like alarm panels and um, tank readouts, battery voltages. And then we've got two uh, premium pack Simrad kit here. So we've got two 19 inch displays up top, uh, currently reading split with a, a radar and a chart plotter, but it gives a host of engine information, uh, fish finder for uh, AIS. You see all the little um, triangular targets there on, on the plotter and depth and speed and what have you in the middle. I say side power, um, slightly side power, zero speed fin stabilization. So we're running two, uh, just over one meter vector fins, one either side of the hull for stability. And then we've got our bonding, uh, these are engine displays here to give temperatures and pressures and what have you. So it's a real nice sort of aesthetic helm here. Predator being very much a, you know, a driver's boat. So it's still very practical in how you can, you can maneuver it. Um, same with the big engines that we have, the twin 1900, she really does get up and go nicely. And say, have a look in my video from the other day to get a feel for just um, you know just how much of a beast she really is. We head on down. We can see the lower deck accommodation. So just note how big these massive glass windows here. I haven't opened the roof. Beautiful carbon fiber structure above us here, um, which I say you check it out in the other video. You can see how much light that lets in when it's fully open. So we come down initially to the uh, to the galley. So we've got this nice L shaped galley very practical loads of storage comes with a full set of robert welsh cutlery in there so loads of storage so it's a practical galley this boat is built for people that use the boat it really is practical storage up top here of course things like an extractor fan here we've got a four burner electric top a Miele upgrade on the microwave convection microwave oven uh, note we're running two pin EU sockets on here um, easy to swap those over to UK three pin or elsewhere in the world if you so wish uh, we've got a, a wine cooler here nice little feature as you're coming down the stairs put your nice bottles of, of wine and champagne slimline dishwasher storage in the floor behind us here we've got a great size fridge with a couple of um, freezer drawers here just to take the catches off real deep handy storage and then we've got uh, of course for more provisions there's a couple of storage shelves in here uh, cabin layout wise so this is a three cabin yacht option with a fourth and um, this particular boat we've got the lower dinette in here so we've got a nice little seating area uh, with a tv up on the bulkhead a little bit more storage over here a um, couple of different layouts here so we can put a, an enclosed bulkhead round here and you can have a walk-in wardrobe for the vip guest cabin forward um, or we can enclose this all together and have a pair of bunk beds to give you a fourth cabin. Um, more commonly, this boat is built with the three cabins we see here, but there, of course, every boat is built bespoke. Um, so either you take a stock boat as we see here, or um, or we can build something to your own needs. So accommodation say split three cabins. We come forward and start with the VIP guest cabin. So we've got a center line, 1.83 meter wide um, island double bed here. We've got a nice step up either side, high level storage cupboards here, a good size wardrobe storage here and across on the other side again high level storage here we've got a good size uh, 40 inch tv on the bulkhead here and then a nice little dining uh, sort of sort of um, seating area for getting ready in the evenings with a lift up vanity station of course en suite all the cabins so good size Minerva stone on the uh, on the bulkheads there. We've got a sofa shower up in the roof with a second handset, Tecma vacuum flush toilets, and again nice bits of stone on the the worktops there. Again throughout the boat we're running that dark Bengay wood um, storage up behind the mirrored panels there. LED lighting throughout. It's all dimmable so you can soften that up when you so wish. Nice little detailing with things like the stainless steel inlays on the doors here just to give a real feeling of quality. Um, upgraded herringbone carpet throughout. And then if we head on back, so uh, this is the, the day head for guests on board who aren't staying. And then you've also got Jack and Jill access here for the, the third cabin. So twin single beds and they're a good size single. 
we can as an option make them sliding so this particular boat has got this bed here will slide electrically across to give you a, an occasional double when needed and then you've got things like a big blind there you can see massive opening port light good size wardrobe and down here on the bulkhead a 22 inch tv uh, again with apple tv with sonars with um, the option to to rig the boat up with satellite tv if you wish so that's the access door through into the to the heads and then if we come aft we come down into the master stateroom so obviously a full beam cabin here and immediately you appreciate just how big it's two meter wide bed huge island uh, huge island bed sprung mattress of course and to the port side of the boat we have these two sort of sofa tub chairs with a, a nice little table a place to do a bit of work in the morning or sit and have a coffee and, and read the paper get opening port lights up on the sides nice little detailing throughout the bulkhead here with a stainless steel inlay and these nice stainless steel lights through the roof and then on the opposite side here we've got a nice again vanity station everything soft closed and we've got say lots of drawers storage cupboards here say mirrors and um, everything smoked so it's a real nice feeling through here uh, 40 inch tv on the bulkhead here again with all the av that we talked about throughout the other cabins and of course master bathroom so we've got electric heated towel rail on the wall there and all the features that you've seen in the other cabins already great size shower compartment there absolutely huge plenty of space to spend time waking yourself up in the morning and um, boat's got plenty of capacity on board so we're um, we're 800 litres of fresh water and we're running 4,800 litres of fuel so we've got a real good range so we're about 330 nautical miles on one of these just taking in here what the expanse of beautiful windows give you that sort of waterline feel here we are on a hammerhead berth at, uh, at Swanwick saying it's a beautiful mooring you imagine waking up in the mooring to watch the world go by out there So absolutely loaded uh, boat as you see her here starting price on this particular model is 2.27 million pounds x tax and we're 2.743 million as you see her now today specced up with everything that you typically want to um, to spec so we've got you know, 118,000 BTU tropical spec aircon so with a full suite of navigation equipment there really is very very little to add to this to make her a truly usable boat and of course as a full 2020 model yet to be registered she's an ideal opportunity still plenty of the summer left here in the uk or even shipping down to the med regular ships running every few few days certainly possible to get the boat down and take advantage of the rest of august and september throughout most of the mediterranean territories so if you'd like to know any more information my name is james lumley from sunseeker southampton so part of the sunseeker london group we've got 41 offices around the Mediterranean, Europe, North Africa, very well equipped to take care of all your boating needs whilst you're out on the water and beyond. Uh, my mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven, or my email is james at sunseekersouthampton.com. Drop me a message, I can talk you through specs, further photos, and if you'd rather wait and build your own boat so I can talk you through the build process and how that would work. Or perhaps you're looking for something a little smaller or bigger and this is just a venture today to see what yachts are all about. So I hope you've enjoyed the tour today and we look forward to hearing from you.